Good evening, everybody. So today's video kind of materialized out of another project I'm working on. So I'm currently shooting a video, um, an AMD PC build. So the theme of that build, well, one, it's gonna be all AMD. Two, it's gonna be white and black with red RGB. And I want it to be more white than black. And the case that I'm using, although it's white, came with a lot of black fans. So I wanted to find a way to cover them up. Now, first thing I thought I was painting them because I painted fans in the past and it works, you can do it. You don't really lose performance, but it's a pain to tape everything up and whatnot. So then I got to thinking, why don't I just 3D print like a cover for the fan and then I can print or paint that. And then I can also test different ways to smooth out a print because I know a lot of you guys have been telling me to smooth my prints out a little bit. And although you can't do an acetone bath with PLA, you can paint it. And the hope was that I would use some um, paint with primer, uh, a mixture that would be thick enough, hopefully to smooth out my prints. And well, that didn't really work out too well, but I did come up with this little gem right here. So this essentially started out as a fan cover. Then it morphed into like this RGB fan cover. And then I made it look like a velocity stack. And the reason, well, well first, if you don't know what a velocity stack is, you see it a lot on turbo intakes. And my dog is just still a paper towel, so way right back. No! Ah. Okay, what, what? so velocity stacks. First, I see you out there. A velocity stack, normally you see them on the intake of turbos or on top of like carburetors. And essentially it's a big horn looking deal. And the idea here is as the air is rushing into the intake, it gives it a more laminar flow and helps it mix better in the, well, if it's a carburetor and where the fuel is injected, if it's a turbo, it just helps it do magic. I don't know. Either way, it's a horn looking deal that's supposed to make laminar flow or improve laminar flow. And the thought was one, it could look cool with RGB and two, maybe it would improve cooling performance on an air cooler. That'd be just a bonus. So I came up with this and one, I think it looks awesome. Ignore, ignore the paint job because that's not so awesome if you do have uh, a better way of smoothing out PLA other than just sanding it to death because that sucks. Let me know in the comments down below. But even though that video, my build video is not out yet, make sure to get subscribed if you're not, if you want to see that. I wanted to share this with you guys so you could download it and mess around with it because uh, I think it looks sweet. Now, does it help with cooling? Well, I, I ran some tests and um, First thing I did was I put it on my U12A from Noctua with the A12X25 on my 7700K and ran basically three runs with just the fan and three runs with this velocity stack and unfortunately did nothing. But that doesn't mean, that's not actually a bad thing. It didn't improve anything, but it also didn't hurt anything. So this essentially can take any fan, even the old ugly brown and tan Noctua fan and give it RGB which I think looks so sweet, if I do say so myself. But after that test, I was like, well, maybe the, a, the U12A is just such a good air cooler that there's no extra headroom to be made by improving the flow into a fan. So then I went and looked and found my Scythe Big Shuriken 3. Uh, it's a very low profile air cooler. And I was like, if this thing has any room for better cooling with improved airflow, let's give it a shot. So I took the same U12 or A12X25 fan, put on that air cooler, ran it three times, then installed this velocity stack, we'll call it. And unfortunately we did not see any gains, but we didn't see any hurt performance either. So pretty much it's like, it's not even there. You just essentially get RGB, which I think is awesome. Now we'll be putting this on my Thingiverse account. Like I said, it's essentially a three piece design. I'm using the high density 2812B RGB strips. So it's like 144 LEDs per three meters, you only need like a strip this big, but I'll leave all the links down below for the things I'm using. You get the, the velocity stack model beyond there, basically just mounts to the front face of a fan. And then you got this back cap that just essentially holds the RGBs in place so they don't just kind of vibrate, blue, <laughs> vibrate free and get sucked into your fan. And the blades, so the blades on the front are spaced far enough apart that you're not gonna get any, you know, degradation on your airflow as you've seen in the test but also I have them canted at a 25 degree angle just to cover up the RGB strip because you want to see the RGB light you don't want to see the RGB strip so I think everything worked out pretty well if I could get some white PLA I would print another one of these out for my build coming up but I don't think I'm going to be able to I might use that just because I think it looks so sweet might throw some just a heavy layer of paint on it and see how it works uh, I will have to make a modification to this design 
so that you can use it with like a 240 rail or yeah, 240 mil radiator because the fan does kind of bulge or the, the horn does kind of bulge out outside the 120 millimeter fan. So it'll have to be chopped so two of them can go face to face and then I'll have to maybe create a third one. So if you want to use it with like a 360, you could have two end fans and then a center one that's chi or snipped on both sides. Controlling it, I got Arduino Nano and then just the three wires going to that. And then Arduinos, I mean, I'm very new to the programming of the Arduinos. It can be a pain. But if you're, I mean, it's not that hard. After you, after you figure it out and kind of stumble through it and get annoyed with it, it makes sense in the end. And if you don't want to even mess with that, you just download the fast LED and you can just put in, you know, examples that they have right now. I'm running a demo reel. They also have this nice little fire one that I like. Where'd it go? So that's just a nice little, essentially if it was in a strip, it looks like flames. But since it's in a circle, it just kind of looks like you're having a real bad day in a jet engine. And then for the build that I'm doing, I think I'm gonna go with this red sweep in the direction of travel of the fan. Essentially you have RGB on any fan you could ever want. So if your fan's ugly like the Noctua, just on the front, RGB. If you got real cheap case fans and they don't look good, but trying to save a buck and use them with your build, print one of these guys out in the color of your choosing or paint it if you're a better painter than myself throw some RGBs in it and cover that fan up and then it just looks awesome, personally. I don't know what you guys think, but if you'd like to take a, take a look at this, I'll put the models on my Thingiverse account, go there, download them, mess with it, throw it in a build, let us all know how it works out. And um, yeah, it doesn't help performance, but it doesn't hurt performance and it adds RGB. So what else could you possibly ask for?